Epix 2 is one of Garmin's most advanced and premium sports watches, combining a rugged design with a touchscreen AMOLED and a slew of features for outdoor enthusiasts. The device was released in January 2022, but many Garmin fans are already anticipating its successor. So, let's go over some of the features we'd like to see, including functionality the Garmin crowd has requested or recommended. First on this list are multiple size options. The Phoenix 7 is available in three case size choices, 42, 47, and 51 millimeters. The Epix 2 is only available in a 47 millimeter case, so variants for those with small and large wrists would be beneficial. Next up is a larger display. The Phoenix 7 has a transflective screen that shines brighter in direct sunlight, whereas the Epix 2 has a stunning AMOLED display that shines brighter indoors. While we don't anticipate that changing, a screen that makes better use of Garmin real estate would be nice. A recent example is the Forerunner 965, which has a 1.4 inch AMOLED. The Epix 2 has a smaller 1.3 inch display. There is an opportunity to increase the screen size of Epix 3 while maintaining the overall dimensions by shrinking the bezel around the edges. Solar and or QI charging. Some Garmin watches support solar charging, whereas the Epix 2 does not. Garmin employs a power glass solar charging lens that is optimized for the spectrum of sunlight. Solar technology has advanced to the point where it is no longer just a gimmick and actually improves battery life. It is particularly useful for outdoor enthusiasts who spend long periods of time in difficult environments and require reliable tracking and navigation features, and those that live in sunny regions of the globe. QI charging was also introduced recently on the Garmin Vivomove trend. The elimination of wires and the prevention of wear and tear on your device's charging port are some of its advantages. Furthermore, it is simple and convenient to simply place your smartwatch on a charging pad. Next up is a flashlight. The Garmin Phoenix 7X flashlight is an integrated hands-free multi-LED that can be used for sport, adventure, and daily life. By quickly pressing the light key twice, you can enable or disable it. It has brightness, strobe, color, and activity settings that can be changed. We are pretty sure this will come to Epix Gen 3. There is no reason for it not to. Speaker and microphone for phone calls and voice assistance. Unlike the Venue 2 Plus, the Epix 2 lacks a speaker and a microphone. Both would be beneficial to include. Even if there is no cellular version of the watch, it could be used to answer a call without having to take your connected smartphone out of your pocket. The Epix watch currently only displays the caller's name or phone number and allows you to decline the call from your wrist. Voice assistance is also not available on Epix 2. New performance metrics are, of course, a given. Garmin recently acquired the king of performance metrics, First Beat Analytics. That means it's in a great position to keep churning out the goods. The same is the case with sensors. Garmin covers the fundamentals well and includes nearly everything available on typical sports watches. Skin temperature is the only notable omission. ECG is another. At the moment, it is only available on Venue 2 Plus. The next entry on our wish list is pretty self-evident. On Epix 2, multiband GNSS is only available for the Sapphire model. That's not good enough. Without a doubt, multi-frequency support for satellite systems will be included as standard on the next generation watch. We've also been hoping for a cellular Garmin watch for quite some time. Sure, Garmin has made some half-hearted attempts with the Forerunner 945 LTE and the Bounce Watch for kids. These, however, do not represent true cellular connectivity, as you cannot make or receive calls. Garmin has so far only used the functionality to support safety features. Is Epix the right watch for this kind of technology to debut? Maybe, maybe not, but one can always hope. As far as a potential release date, we do not anticipate the release of the next Epix until early 2024. CES in January could actually be a good opportunity, or perhaps shortly after. If Garmin makes a surprise and releases it earlier, IFA in Berlin in early September is another good launch platform. Garmin is a regular at Europe's largest tech gathering, and they always have something new to show.